and welcome to Traveling Chinese. I'm Mark Rosewell, also known as Dash Ant. Well, we've covered a lot of ground in the last few episodes, so today we're going to do a little bit of a review and go back over some of the dialogues that we've seen in the last few lessons. I have with me in studio today two foreign students that are living and studying in Beijing. Thanks very much for coming to the studio. And uh, maybe we'll start with a little self-introduction. Could you tell us who you are and where you're from? 你好,我叫春田瑶,我来自日本。嗯,我是去年的八月份来的北京,现在有八个月左右. From Japan, and you've been living in Beijing for about nine months then? Okay, and your classmate? 我叫康云峰,吉安康的康,云赛的云,山峰的峰,我来自德国柏林,我也是去年九月份来到北京的. Okay, Kang Yunfeng from Berlin. So one of the topics that we were talking about in our previous lesson was checking into a hotel. Probably one of the experiences people have on their first day in China. How about you? Any ever had any trouble checking into a hotel? Do you find that people speak English in hotels? 对啊，在中国宾馆办理入住手续真的很麻烦，因为宾馆的服务员一般呃没有那么高的呃英语水平，所以我们交流的时候有很多障碍。so you have to speak Chinese with them because they don't speak English very well. 对呀，而且这样一来会发生很多误会。比如说我填表格的时候，我一般用繁体字写，然后服务员一般呃看不懂繁体字。而且呢，我的我写康的时候，我我的姓是吧，康，他们以为是唐，唐代的唐。唐代
还有。比如说牙膏就是说很健康， okay. 觉得很好玩。I guess if you like to watch the advertising, the advantage too is that you get to see a new program every thirty seconds, changes quite quickly. <laughs> and another thing is that the two of you get together and watch TV. There's no conflict. He can watch his TV、uh, dramas, and you can watch the ads in between. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Well, in the dialogue that we're going to go to now, Xiao Jie was having a little bit of trouble finding CCTV five on her TV set. CCTV five is the sports channel. She wanted to watch some sports. Why don't we go to back to the dialogues? Take a look at that, okay? 小杰，房间怎么样？挺好的。照相机怎么还没有消息呢？哈，别着急，我已经通知服务台了。有消息啊，他们马上会告诉咱们的。以后要照顾好自己的东西啊。看看电视节目吧，看看中国的电视节目。有美国的电视节目吗？我问问。你好，是前台吗？请问房间里的电视能看到美国的电视频道吗？啊，那哪个频道可以看到体育节目呢？哦，对不起，我没有找到体育频道。好，谢谢。他说上来给咱们调试一下。你好，我帮你调试一下。好的。这是体育频道，这是英语频道。哦哦，对了，你冰箱里还有饮料和啤酒。So in that dialogue, we were talking about 电视 TV, but how about 电话 telephone? You ever have any problem making a call in China? 嗯，我当初我第一次打电话的时候，嗯，就是日本和中国的电话打通了的时候的声音不一样，而且恰恰相反，所以我以为老是打不通，我一打就挂下去，然后试了好多次，然后有一个人突然接了电话，让我很吃惊。Oh, the dial tone, what we call the ling sheng, the dial tone is different.、Mm. So the sound you get in China, that's the busy signal. 嗯，就是。就是不。Or the regular tone in China is the busy signal in Japan. So you always thought the phone was busy and you hang up before the answer. Okay. How about you? Have any problem? Any trouble making phone calls in China? 哎，我房子里的那个电话机很破旧，所以那个杂音很厉害。Oh, 杂音 ，the noise, the static. Yeah, okay. 我父母每一次给我打电话的时候，连一句话也听不清楚。Well, you know what you can do? You can buy an IP card. And then you can dial internationally from any public phone. You can get a much better one than that poor Joe, busted up old phone in your room. <laughs> okay, let's go to back to the dialogue now, where they're trying to figure out how to make a long-distance call from the hotel. Shall we take a look? Nine six five seven eight five two. Hey, I'm Ren Hao. Ren Hao. 你们怎么样？住在哪里呀、啊？哈，挺顺利的。我们住在明月大酒店。啊，明月饭店离我们家不太远。行李还是没有消息。还没有消息。我明天想去看看你们。你们有没有时间？哈，明天下午怎么样？嗯，好，没问题，就这么定了。明天晚上我们一起吃晚饭。带刘勇一起来吧，我们好多年没见了。那好啊，你们住多少号房间？是九幺八房间，电话号码是总机转九幺八房间，总机电话的号码是九六四五二六二六。嗯，好，我记住了，明天见。行李还没有消息，哎，明天表姐来。太好了，好多年没见他了。给上海打电话。咱们房间的电话不能打长途电话。咱们下去问问。嗯，好。你好。你好。我们想往上海打电话，怎么办比较好？你们可以开通您房间内电话的国内长途电话，这样您就可以在房间内直接打长途电话了。嗯还有别的办法吗？你也可以买长途电话卡，这样你在公用电话上都可以打长途电话。
电话卡多少钱？有三十块、五十块、一百块三种。买五十块的吧。好的。给您。怎么打上海长途呢？呃，先拨上海的区号，上海的区号是零二幺，接着拨电话号码。谢谢。So there are a lot of different options for making phone calls. One of the most convenient is to buy an IP card, but of course, you have to buy it with RMB, with local currency. So you have to change money. You ever had any trouble changing money in China? Um, I first got RMB was when I thought RMB s o Okay. That's because many of the bills look similar. They're slightly different sizes sometimes. So you might think five yuan looks like five mao, but really that's just half of a yuan. <laughs> okay. So you have a little bit of trouble trying to figure out the difference between the the bills. How about you, Kang Yunfeng? Find any trouble changing money? Actually, in China, changing money is very easy. It's like changing money from anywhere to anywhere. Uh, and I'm very happy because it's so strong in the yuan. So when I first came to China, I changed money. 我编了大手大脚，花钱如水，无论是 DVD、video 服装都买了。Okay, because you're figuring out the price in、uh, in euros, so you think、uh, you've got a lot of money. So 花钱如水 you're spending spending money like water. Okay, but you know, changing money in China, you can't really say it's sui shi sui di because it's not everywhere. You can change in hotels, banks, some stores, but for instance, you can't change in a restaurant.、Mm. So Huan Renhao and his family, when they're going out for dinner, they're going to go to a restaurant. They have to find A place to change money first. Let's see how they manage that. Okay. Hello. Hello. Please buy some money. Hello. I want to use Yuan to change RMB. Please scan this sheet. Okay. Today's interest rate is how much? Two percent. The Yuan is selling at eight point six. Oh. 换五百美元吧，请给我看看您的护照。哦，好。给你。请在这张单子上签字。好，好的。在哪儿签呀、啊？右下角，这里。这、就是您换的人民币，您点一下。好。Time for a tea break. The Chinese currency, or renminbi, is not yet fully convertible. That means you can't just take renminbi and exchange 兑换 for foreign currency without a permit or other documentation. But it's easy to change from a foreign currency into renminbi. The exchange rate is strictly regulated by the national government in China. No matter where you change money, at the airport, your hotel, a bank, or even in major shopping areas, the rate is always exactly the same, and there should be no other fees or commissions charged either. If you have Chinese currency left over at the end of your trip, you can change this back into foreign currency, provided that you've kept your original receipts from when you changed money the first time. Most people do this at the airport on their way out, as you may have to show your outbound plane ticket to prove that you are in fact leaving the country. Well, in today's lesson, we've been learning some really practical things. Like, for instance, what are some of the things? Um, watch TV. Watch TV. Watching TV. How about 办理入住手续 Checking into a hotel where you'll find that your Chinese comes in really handy. 还有换钱换钱 Changing money. And remember, don't 花钱如水 Spend money like it's just water flowing. <laughs> Or how about 打电话 We talked about that as well. Buying an IP card, for instance. And、uh, I hope when you watch TV in the future.